o'clock tonight. I appreciate it. This case has gotten national attention. Joining us tonight, Cooley Law Professor Brett Gardner. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So you've been following this case closely. What do you think this new discovery, this latest piece of information that we have, the blood at the gas station where she works, means? Well, I think the fact that it is a small piece of blood is good, uh, but it also is an important piece of evidence because it indicates to investigators that she did not go of her own free will. And it will also distract in, when this person is caught and brought to trial that this person took her voluntarily. Is the clock still ticking on this? Is it, does it get harder to solve these cases as we go farther into it? I think all of the efforts and the task force that's been brought to bear on this, working together, uh, time certainly is important, but these cases do get solved and people do get recovered, and I know that everybody involved in it has that hope. Yeah, and again with the news this week, those three women out of Cleveland, certainly that has to bring to light the fact that sometimes people do come back. It might take some time, though. I think that it reinvigorates people in an investigation to recognize that you have to go all out all of the time to make sure that you leave no stone unturned because that person very well could be alive. We've heard about them analyzing cell phone records, seeing who was on what towers at what time. How much more information do you have in this day and age to go through in a case like this? I think it's very important uh, that you analyze every piece of technology that you have available. And certainly those records are going to be extremely important because in today's age, people use cell phones. And it's very possible that that individual used a cell phone in a close tower or one by the scene or another location that he might have stalked. It's also very important for people to be vigilant when they're out and about, to know their neighbors, to know what's happening in their neighborhood, and to call police if they see anything that could be suspicious. Absolutely. So often people sit back and, and hesitate to call because they don't want to call and have them show up and have nothing be wrong. I think it's the other way around. I'd rather have them call and have police show up and have, find out everything is fine. Or even if you see something happening like that, to get involved. I mean, like we said, everybody has a cell camera now. Yeah. Take pictures. Remember what's going on. Absolutely. Getting involved is very important. And also in these types of locations and in other cases that we've handled, we have the advantage of a, a video. And in this case, it's my understanding they didn't have one. So that, that would have been another important tool. But I know they examined all along that long location were able to find some video evidence that may be important later down the line. All right. Thanks for your insight tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. We'll have more on the story coming up in our 6 o'clock news, including live interviews with investigators.